Heath Ledger had been struggling to sleep. Despite being at the pinnacle of his career, the Australia actors' nights were filled with the waking torment of insomnia. Head spent months immersing himself into the role of the Joker for Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight and had recently moved into Manhattan rental apartment after splitting from girlfriend Michelle Williams. Desperate to sleep and suffering from walking pneumonia, his friend and sometimes housemate Jerry Grenell told how tortured Heath would fitfully pace the floors. He told People magazine, would hear him wandering around the apartment and I'd get up and say, come on, man, get back to bed, you have to work tomorrow. He said, I can't sleep, man. Friends were worried about Heath's increasing reliance on prescription drugs. And just the night before his death on January 22, 2008, his sister Kate had begged her brother to cut some of his medications out. You can't mix drugs that you don't know anything about, their father Kim recalled her saying, all be fine," replied Heath. But tragically, if he had listened to his sibling the events that followed might never have happened. When his housekeeper arrived the next day at 12.30 pm, she found Heath lying in bed face down with his sheets pulled around his shoulders. She told the Associated Press she popped in to change light bulb before slipping back out after hearing him snoring. At 3 p.m. his massage therapist Diana Wolozin arrived but found she could get no answer from his bedroom door or his mobile phone. She decided to set up her table in his bedroom, but upon trying to wake him was horrified to discover his body was cold and unresponsive. In fit of panic she is said to have called Heath's good friend, actress Mary, Kate Olsen, before continuing her efforts to wake the star. Realizing he was dead, Diana called 911 where an operator reportedly guided her through CPR until the paramedics arrived minutes later. According to CNN, medical technicians administered CPR and used cardiac defibrillator before the Brokeback Mountain star was pronounced dead at 3.36 p.m. Rumors immediately flew about what had caused his mysterious and sudden death with many speculating that the darkness of the Joker and his split from Michelle had plunged him into state of depression. However, an autopsy the New York coroner found that he had died of acute intoxication after ingesting cocktail of prescription medication. His death was ruled an accident. Anti-anxiety drugs Valium and Xanax, the painkiller OxyContin, cough suppressant hydrocodone and sleep aids Restoral and Unisom were all found in his system among others. And in 2017, forensic pathologist Dr. Jason Payne, James said that it was the addition of OxyContin and hydrocodone that proved fatal. It just put his whole system to sleep guess, Kim told News. Com. O of the coroner's findings, sharing his heartache over Heath's reluctance to heed Kate's warning. He continued. It was one, off thing. That's what killed us, because he was warned by his sister the night before. You shouldn't mix what you're taking for pneumonia with your Ambien. He was young guy. That traveled all the time for work. Even as two-year-old, he hardly ever slept. He was trying to work and travel and do everything in short space of time. He continued, Heath mixed couple of drugs together with sleeping tablets and he's gone forever.